Alright y'all, we are at the next creek. I uh, drove through a town called Caroline. I made it to the new place. Uh, there's another car here, so I heard a dog barking no north of me. So I think uh, I think they're fishing the upper section. Um, I don't know if there's anywhere good to car camp over here. Uh, I can't get my truck back here to this little area here. Uh, but the water looks nice, it's really clear, slow flow, nice little spring creek. So we can get into some brook trout, some brown trout, guys. Stay tuned. I just missed one in here. I saw him flash. I'm not sure what it was. I just tied this new streamer on. We are hooked up here guys, finally. I've been on this creek for a little while now and I got this brown on. Oh, feels good, feels real good. Picked him up on a caddis, a creeping caddis guys. That was the pattern that took this brown trout. Heck yeah, heck yeah. Playing out a nice little brownie. It's about uh, 13 inches, 14 inches. But he's got some girth. Yeah guys, there we go. Nice brown trout right here. Give you guys a, a peek of this guy here. <laughs> it's about time. Take a look at that. It's like that guys, look at that. Beautiful. We're gonna do an underwater release here. It's about time, I've been fishing for a while. Like a bullet, like, like a bullet, baby. Yeah, it's about time. Second brown trout of the trip. I'm telling you guys, it's been a lot of work to get these fish, but it's totally worth it. Stay tuned for more, guys. All right, everybody. We've got camp set up. I fished for a while on this new creek here. Got one brown so far. Uh, I had supper. Had some sausage and some corn again. It's got to be eaten, so uh, ate that up. I uh, just did some uh, work on uh, SD cards because apparently the GoPro is reading full but this camera is reading about an hour left of space so don't know what's going on there so we're just going to be using this camera from now on um, might not be able to do some underwater releases for you but oh well hey everybody it's uh, bedtime and we're going to wake up I've uh, got my game plan set for tomorrow I'm going to start the truck, warm up the heater uh, get it warm in here and then call it a night guys so until the morning until the break of dawn sleep tight everybody I'll catch you in the a.m. good morning it is now day three we are on the road to a new location uh, I'm about 60 to 70 kilometers southwest of where I was uh, last night, yesterday, this morning, um, I decided not to fish that same river that I fished yesterday, today, uh, only due to the fact that I was doing some research after uh, the day was done before I was going to go to bed, and I found out that that creek is one of the world-renowned spring creeks in North America, um, internationally known as well, it is an insane spring creek known for some amazing green drake hatches and some really good stonefly hatches. There's some really big brown trout in there. Um, I've seen some pictures of some monsters pulled out of that little tiny creek. So these fish are super spooky. Uh, a friend of mine that I was talking to last night said that uh, if I got one brown out of that creek on my very first time then I was doing something right and I must be pretty decent at it because you know that river is really difficult to catch fish out of apparently so kudos to myself on that one but uh we're almost to the new body of water gonna hit it up see how it goes hopefully it's uh not muddy but you know we got really overcast conditions today super cold so i'm thinking the fish are going to be turned off but we'll see what happens guys stay tuned for some action
All right, guys, welcome to the water. We made the boat, it was about a 45 minute to an hour drive. Um, got a beautiful spring. It's another spring creek right behind me. It's not as small as the other one, but uh, I'll let you guys know that it's a tributary, or tributary, sorry, of the Red Deer River. Uh, we're gonna do some fly fishing today. Got my uh, 10 foot rod out because this water looks a little bit bigger with some open areas to cast. We're gonna be chucking pieces of meat like that. We are hooked up with the giant brown baby. Yeah, let's go. About time. First drift with this new switch up. Put on a black stone fly about a size eight, a big one. And uh, just drifted it up through there. I've been struggling here so hard. And uh, finally paid off, baby. Look at that brown trout. Look at that thing. That is a beauty. Oh man, I am so happy. Yeah, baby, look at that tank. Wow, let's go. Look at that tank. Beautiful male brown. Oh, man. Woo! Look at that. Stay tuned, guys. This is awesome. Got to get a few pics of this guy and we'll get it. All right, everybody. I am so, so stunned. This fish is amazing. We're going to watch it swim off here. This beautiful, beautiful Spring Creek brown trout. Look at this. Look at the size of that. That is a beautiful brownie. We're going to watch her swim away here. Off he goes. Yeah, that's what it's all about. Oh, working hard finally pays off. Got ourselves a beautiful brown trout. That's bigger than the first one I got up in the northern section of a different river system. This is my third river here, guys, and it's my third brown trout of the trip. I cannot believe it, but it's happening, guys. We got crappy weather. My hand is frozen. Whew! But baby, I'm telling you, it's all worth it. Frequent fly fishing outdoors, up here, central Alberta, killing it. All right, everyone. That concludes the journey. Um, mostly because of the weather, but you know, if it wasn't like this outside right now, I'd be out here longer for sure. It's just the cold, the wet, you know. It was cold last night where I slept, so um, I didn't get the greatest of sleeps. So, caught one nice brown here, like a really nice brown. Uh, it's a pretty long fish, pretty big fish. Took a size six black gold beadhead stone fly with the rubber legs um, first pass with that he took it so I'm gonna end the day on a high note here and uh, hop in my truck and hightail it back to Calgary take a hot shower and just relax guys get this video uploaded for you so I hope you enjoyed the video I really hope you do um, if you do like this sort of thing uh, please give us a thumbs up hit that subscribe button I'm always bringing up new videos um, hopefully uh, there's better fishing to come in the time coming up we'll see how it goes until next time 